Hi guys, good to have you all back and welcome to another episode of Junkie June. Or as I like to call this episode, the walk of shame. <laughs> because on my desk, my junk items for today are uh, flat packaging material. Like price tags, labels... You name it. So I have a big box of everything that I saved from flat packaging. Yes. I think 95% of this box contains packaging from craft supplies. <laughs> and this is just about 10% of everything that is in the box. So um, do I have a problem? I do not. I have joy. This just brings me joy. Okay. So we're using a flat packaging material. To make something lovely. Like what? Ephemera pieces. I want to make ephemera. Uh, and with this as a base. Making tags. Journal cards. Pockets. Flip ups. Bookmarks. Belly bands. You name it. You name it. Using all of these. What else am I using? Let me show you. Let's start with the items that I have no regrets about. That you probably have lying around the house. Or have cheap and easy access to. Uh, I'm going to use napkins. Yes, paper napkins. I'm going to do a little bit of decoupage. Now, you probably have some napkins uh, in your stash. Or, you know, your neighbor or your colleagues or your friends. My, I always ask uh, my friends, do you have some new napkins? And can I have one? <laughs> Just, you know, napkins. Very cheap. And then I have a whole pouch of fuzzy cuts. Now, these fuzzy cuts come from an encyclopedia volume. Now, encyclopedias are in abundance, obsolete. Everybody is giving them away. Yes, if you can find even just one volume that is made between, um, you know, mid-70s until late 90s, you can probably find fantastic illustrations in them. So um, encyclopedias can be cheap. You don't need 13 volumes like I do because I've been using one for years now, just the one. Uh, but it's a fantastic source for um, beautiful illustrations and then all sorts, not just flowers, but fishes, frogs and people and whatever. Okay, <clears throat> as for the stuff that I do regret having a little bit um let me show you so i was going through my packaging and i found loads of packaging from aliexpress stuff yes um i used to buy there a lot years ago it's a complete waste of money because you have it and you don't use it because it's actually not that good and you know, it just, it's collecting dust. So I found uh, these two packaging and I was like, oh my gosh, do I have this? Yes, you do. Have you used it? No. So I found this one, stamp sticker set. Yeah. So I have, I've never used one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, never used one of them. So I want to use uh, this. And then this one was with uh, old written papers. It looks lovely. It looked lovely on the image. But they're actually small. It's an A5 size. Um, and I, honestly, guys, I like mine to be more authentic, real, and printed on um, A4 or less size. So that's why I probably never used one of them. Or maybe one or two. I don't know. So I'm using some, I'm using some AliExpress stuff. You have some, or Sheen, or Wish, or Timu. Same. It's all the same lobbies. So, um, cheap AliExpress stuff. Um, also, my um, challenge item for today is this. Rub-on letters. Yes. Some of these are very vintage, very old. I, I find them uh, thrifting, like this. Or um, on, uh, on Instagram uh, shops. My, my lovely friends. I just keep finding them all the time. And I never use them. Well, I hardly ever use them. So I have a gazillion. This is just a, a small part. <laughs> um, and I want to use them. Now, I have very bad handwriting. Believe me, I do. I have extremely bad handwriting. That's why I don't journal. Because I do not enjoy my own handwriting. Uh, but if I need to make a word or a sentence or do something i usually do it with um uh, with these so i'm gonna use these yes okay for tools and other supplies i'm going to use my everyday tools ruler knife glue scissors corner rounder i'm gonna be inking slash distressing i'll probably add some brads or eyelets 
yeah then for the item that i don't use every day because i want to do uh, a little bit of napkin decoupage i'm going to use mod podge you don't need mod podge lovies you need liquid glue now i bought this jar years ago i do not enjoy it for one it is way too heavy it's way too thick and also i used it once or twice and then for the longest time i couldn't get the lid off anymore so i had to use force it eventually did come off nowadays i keep a piece of um a plastic in between and that works like a charm so that's a very good tip um so i'm gonna use this it is a little bit too heavy for me so i'm gonna thin it out with a little bit of water not gonna use my fingers either so i'm going to use a brush now you don't need mod podge any other white liquid glue will do like elmer school glue eileen's whatever or um if you want to go fancy you can use this i'm not gonna go fancy i'm gonna do this because i need to use this up so here's the plan it's going to be a very easy relaxing sort of craft with me session i'm just gonna take some of the pieces and you don't need packaging lovies if you're not a hoarder good for you just take out a piece of scrapbook paper or what have you a little bit heavier uh, and sometimes i'm just gonna you know cover the whole thing up because not lovely and sometimes i'm like oh my gosh that is pretty uh, i'm gonna utilize the image that is on here yes and for decorating use anything you lo want lovies if you have some uh pretty digitals if you have some book pages magazines or but challenge yourself try to use some stuff up that you have plenty of never use at one point you thought you love it and now you're like what am i going to do with it challenge yourself take out some stuff yes okay let's get started I have no clue how many I'm actually going to make, but it's going to be lovely. Okay, <clears throat> this one, because I found this. I actually love this, yes, but it's shiny. So I do not want to have this shiny. That's why I'm going to do napkin decoupage. The other side is what it was. I'm going to cover this with actually uh, one of the papers. Just going to cover it. So that's, that is easy. And then I'll do some decorating as well. But let me show you how I napkin decoupage. Love East. It's not rocket science. And I'm probably doing it wrong. But this is how I do it. So I have a little bit of my Mod Podge glue. Yes. In a tiny little jar. I always have some uh, water at hand. So I'm going to spritz some water in it. Not a lot. And then I'm going to start mixing it up. And I'm going to see when i like it needs to be like sort of runny lovey sort of runny so this is not runny enough so i need a little bit more water i always have a, a spritzer uh, on my desk filled with water just in case i need it which is probably not a lot of times because i don't like messy so this is actually all the messy that i'm gonna do speaking of messy yes i now just now realized i need something under my piece of paper because this see this is sort of the consistency that i want see it's runny now yeah that's what i want i need something underneath so i'm gonna take out um probably a piece of a uh, uh, baking paper or something yes let me take some out so i'm out of baking paper so i am a little bit panicked <laughs> But here's what I'm doing. I have a, a sort of a cutting mat. Yes, from the kitchen. This is a new one. I'm going to use it. I have my cutting mat. I have wipes and uh, kitchen paper towels. It'll, ha it'll have to do. I normally have something, um, the baking paper and such, you know. Uh, what are we using? Well, you could do all sorts. I have all sorts. Lovely butterflies. Map. Lemons. Lemons. That's cool. You will see the, the image through lovies. But I want a bigger piece. Um, oh, that is... Oh, let's do classic roses. Classic roses. Is that cool? Yes, that's going to be very cool. Classic, classic. Okay. In case you've never done any de napkin decoupage. It's fun. It is fun, lovies. I'm going to use a piece of tape. Yes, just a piece of tape. Any tape will do. I'm going to start from the bottom. I'm going to put my tape on here. Yes. And then take it off again. Preferably carefully. Yes. Because now you're taking a layer off the napkin. That is one. Now normally napkins have three layers. So I'm hoping this has three layers. Could be that this is just a two layer napkin. I'm going to try it again. See, yes, there's something coming off. So you need all the layers removed. 
And if you're doubting that there's still not a layer, layer, there's probably not a layer. Because it needs to be really, really see-through. Yes? I'm going to keep this because I need paper towels <laughs> to clean everything up. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is going to look awesome. Just awesome. Put it on like so. Yes? I'm going to take my liquid glue. Put liquid glue on the surface. That's why I needed uh, something underneath. <laughs> yes. Then you're going to gently place it. Be careful because once it's down, then it is down. Like so. Yes, going to do this in phases. There we go. Taking out the tiniest bit of glue and then gluing over it again. And then try to gently, because this could rip very easily, lovies, gently rub out all the sort of air bubbles. I'm not really good with this because this is now starting to crinkle here. I don't mind this because then it almost looks like leather. <laughs> so I'm going to add some more glue here. Yes. And gently add glue. I don't do this often enough, so I am not really good at it. But I like the result every time, so it's quite all right. And gives it a little bit more texture as well. Maybe a little bit too much glue. There you go. Last piece. Very important that you really do all the edges. Yes, so go over the edge. So mine is far from perfect because I have all sorts of wrinkles, but I actually enjoy it. I don't mind that you see that it's actually a napkin decoupage. That you can, that you can see a little bit of structure. Be sure to add... Lots to the edges, otherwise it will peel off. And we do not want it to peel off. No. See, I broke it here. That's quite all right. I'll probably go and put a label on it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, very exciting. We need to let it dry. It is not fully dry yet, but I'm going to try to remove the rest of the napkin. I'm going to lift it up and then carefully, carefully... See, because this will, because it's still wet, will tear easily. Oh my gosh, I have sticky fingers now. Why don't you enjoy mixed media? Well, because of sticky fingers. Careful, love. Come on, last piece, you can do it. You can do it. Yes. So I'm going to let it dry. I like so. I'm going to take this off. Clean my mat. Yes. I have the napkin stuff now. Yeah. And then you're left with this. This you can use an emery board on. And just sort of file the, the last sort of pieces here. I'm going to let it dry. You can take out your glue gun. I could. But I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to take this off. It already looks lovely. Because you can see... Uh, the writing in the background. Fantastic, right? Yes. And then we're going to do some inking, distressing. Yes. Did I say glue gun again instead of heat gun? I meant heat gun. I'm sorry, guys. I get these two mixed up every time. So, uh, almost completely dry. Taking out my sort of emery board, my nail file. And then you can just sort of... Well, normally you can. Oh, it's probably just paper. Sand off these edges. because it isn't fully dry yet but you can sand off the edges yes or you're gonna do this that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna take my ruler knife and cut it off
you need to make sure that it's fully dry otherwise you would rip it underneath that's what i probably did over here oh no it's okay it's actually okay or your scissors or what have you now it's a little bit bumpy because i use my glue gun your heat gun love my heat gun yes so i'm going to uh sort of put it underneath a pile of books for a couple of minutes and then it will surely flatten out again and then we're gonna decorate the other side yes i already love it look at that and i love the sort of the the, the texture on here yes um i'm going to use some ink to put more emphasis on the texture so it looks like almost leather i glued this on on the other side this was the from the packaging <laughs> yes um it's a big piece eventually what i want to do is fold it in make it into sort of a tag shape but first i want to distress and decorate and such um i think once around corners on this one because why not there we go then i'm going to distress um all around it. i've taken out frayed burlap i think it's going to be a lovely color on this one yes sort of grayish greenish brown and i thought that might look lovely with the rest oh i already love it cool right yeah what am i going to decorate it with i do not know now i can already tell you robons this and robons probably not a good idea <laughs> no so no robons yes and then i'm going to take out um, a brush and very lightly go over it to see if it will sort of put a little bit of ink on all the you can feel where the where the napkin was sort of starting to to crumple up or i do not know the english word it does work yes can you see? Yes, here. It will put a little bit more emphasis on um, on these sort of textured spots. Oh, we could put texture paste on it and such. I'm not going to. No, napkin decoupage is enough for me. Fantastic. Already love it. Very pretty. Now, let me find something that we can decorate with. Yes, and figure out what I want to do because it's a big piece. I think I want to fold it in so that you can sort of flip it out. Put something. I think it's going to be lovely. Let me find a, a piece to decorate with. I found my focal point. She's just lovely. Honestly, this came from an encyclopedia. So cute, right? Yes. So I'm going to have her on here and uh, with probably a label. And then I can use some of the letter robons to do a something but it's way too big of a piece so i think i want to fold it in um but because there's paper here and here and here it's going to be a little bit difficult <laughs> so i'm going to take out my scoreboard i'm going to take out my scoreboard for this this is actually five and a half inches um so if i do it i want it i want it to stick out for for a little bit i'm gonna score at three so not in the center, no, not in the center. Hoping this works. Lots of layers, so um, just folding it wouldn't work for me. Hoping it does now. Does this help? Also hoping it doesn't crack. No, see, I, I wanted this. I really wanted this because I think I want to have sort of a closure thingy or or something, something. Carefully score it, not ripping the paper. It feels lovely, guys. It does feel lovely because of the decoupage on here. Oh, back's also beautiful. Yes. Okay, lovely. Does she still fit on here? Hopefully she does. Yes, she does. There we go. Yes. Does this fit? That is too big. So then we're going to do with this. Uh, 
amazing. And I want to have sort of a, a mini closure type of thing here. Okay, first I'm going to put this one on. Do we want to ink it? Oh, apparently we do. Using napkins that I never use. Using these stickers that I never use. There we go. Yes. She is going to be on here like so. So I do have a little bit of room. What are we going to put on? I don't know. Maybe just a number. <laughs> maybe just a number. Because that's what I like. Very simple uh, uh, little sort of uh, collage. Two pieces. I, 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 My brain says you need another piece. I'll probably get another piece. Probably a tiny little label here or something. Oh, it's just lovely. There we go. Now, we need a word or a number or something. Let me take out some of my... That's way too big. That's way too modern. We could use this lovely sort of gothic font. But I thought I had some more gold. Yes, I have some of this gold. Mm, I don't think that'll look nice. I'm going to think of a small word or something. And then we're going to put it on. I think I'm going to do Rose. Because, you know, her name is probably Rose. And there's roses on here. And that's a word. I have this in uh, uppercase and lowercase. I think. <laughs> Maybe not. But, you know. It does say flirt on here and on here. So, it's probably... There's a line here as well. Okay. Uh, my preferred choice of rubbing is... Um, I'm just going to use a pencil. These are older. Oh, it does look lovely. Uh, these are older, so I'm hoping they will all work. I'm going to do everything big. No, I like the bigger ones. Let's just do bigger. I have enough room for the big letters. Yes, an E please. There we go. That's an E, right? Yes. Sometimes very difficult. <laughs> so it says rose. It is cute. Do you want to make a closure? I think I want to add two small eyelets and then a, a lovely sort of tiny bow in something cute. Or we could just add a this. It has a name. I don't know what's called anymore. <laughs> you guys kept telling me it's called a this and that. I don't know. Uh, these. Yes. I'm going to put this on here like so and then attach it with a, a lovely brad. There we go. This goes here. This goes here. Because it needs to turn. It does this. See? It keeps it close. So you can make this into a fantastic journal card. You could do well, writing on here. Already did some writing. Love my handwriting? Yes, I love it. <laughs> yes. So, and then you... Oh, I'm rubbish at this. I'm sorry. You close it up like so. Doesn't need a topper. I'm going to have it just like this. Do we need anything else? I, I'm not going to touch it because... Done. Done. Let's make another one. I've chosen a piece of Tim Holtz packaging because most likely that's what all of us have. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love the grunge. What was this? Transparent wings. Oh, that's an old one. The transparent, well, I bought this years ago, years ago. Used it once. Okay, um, I've taken off uh, sort of the top, straighten it up. I'm going to leave this in here. This is going to be a journal card. Are you going to leave it in there? Probably am, probably am. Um, nice and grungy. I am taking out this, sort of a nautical theme. I think it's going to be cool. 
think I want to have this on here. Yes, and then the big compass. Yes, 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 yes. Now, in the meantime, um, I did cover my glue so that it sort of still is runny. There we go. Actually, this says north. <laughs> it was upside down. It was upside down. Okay, so I need to have it on like so. South is the bottom, lovies. Yes, I almost had it upside down. Would be so me to have the whole compass upside down. We don't mind wrinkles. We embrace wrinkles. Bring it on, wrinkles, because that's why we're going to distress it. Do not forget the edges. Edges are very important. I've seen fishies. I have fishies for uh, decorating. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. Okie dokie. Yes, we're letting it dry. I'm taking out my heat gun. You're not taking out your glue gun? No. This time I'm taking out my heat gun. Yes. Oh, I ripped it here. That's okay. That's okay. I think I'm just going to do this before it dries. Carefully just taking off these edges. It's ripping a little bit, but that's quite all right. We, we love the distressed look. This is Tim Holtz, so it needs to be grungy and distressed. So I'm not worried. Oops. Why are you saying oops then, if you're not worried? It's going to be fine. Things are so sticky. I so, do not enjoy this. <laughs> yes, are you going to have the Tim Holtz uh, distress pretty stuff? No, probably not because I have no clue what to do with it. There we go. There we go. Uh, well, it, this was upside down. Okay, let it dry. I let it dry. Put this on the other side. Isn't it lovely? Yeah, it looks like I've journaled on here, but I didn't. Rounded corners. I wanted to ink with scorched timber. Couldn't find it anywhere. Turned out I was inking with scorched timber all along. So, yes, well, scorched timber. Yeah? So, nautical. Obviously. So, I found fishies. I have some. I even have half a fishy. Half a fishy. It's good. That It's going to look great, lovies. It's it's going to look awesome, but probably not going to use this one. So, and then, then I was thinking, what other nauticals, nautical things do I have? Well, uh, loads. <laughs> loads. Um, I I wanted to have some labels. I don't have nautical labels, but I have these fantastic ones. These are from Tra Fo Tracy Fox. Love junk journals on Etsy. These are her blank labels. You can fill them out. So, I'm going to fill one of these out with the rub-ons, of course. Then I have... This sort of nautical, but I also have this. Never used it. Hmm. And some charms. Uh, I have a gazillion of them, but I have a compartment full of nautical stuff. Like, I bought this at, uh, from uh, Action 100 years ago. I think it's going to look awesome. So I'm going to use some of this. Okay. What am I doing? Well, I'm going to make a small collage. I'm going to use one of the fishies. I think I'm going to just use this one. And um, do you want to do this? Or figure one, two, three? No, I think I want to do this one. I'm going to do this one. Small little collage. Also had some poster stamps out. I might add uh, a poster stamp. Just because I need three. And then I was thinking, 
uh, I wanted to put in an eyelet and then a dangle on. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do something way more elaborate. This is going to be uh, probably uh, a greeting card or a journal topper because this is bulky. I don't care. I just want to use it. I'm going to put a piece on here, leaving this sort of frayed edge on the bottom. I'm going to add this to it. I'm going to use my glue gun. Not my heat gun, my glue gun. I'm going to attach it with a brad and a piece of this. Awesome. I think it's going to be awesome. Let's just start with the with the simple. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to put the queen on, Queen Elizabeth. Because that's a lovely color blue. I need to... Ink this one. Just a little bit. There we go. I have drippy out my glue gun. I did find a charger. Well, I did not find a charger. But guess what? It's the same charger as my phone. <laughs> so, I was very happy. Very happy. Is this straight? Yes. I need to leave a little bit of room for some of the uh, rub-ons. There we go. Really cool. This could be a topper for uh, a nautical journal. You keep saying nautical journal. How many of them have you made in your lifetime? One. One hundred years ago. Um, I'm taking out my fabric scissors to try to cut this. Well, that actually worked. Great. There is sort of a flat edge. I'm going to glue it on. Now, I'm going to use my glue gun for this, lovies. Yes, drippy. I'm going to use my glue gun to glue this down. I'm going to do this off camera because I will burn my fingers and bad words will be spoken. I think it looks awesome. Also glued it on uh, with my glue gun, lovies, and then just added a little bit of blue. Now this would probably be a topper for um, a junk journal cover or or something, or you could just have it as a card. So I did this just in case, <laughs> but that wasn't necessary. Okay, I'm going to decorate a little bit more. I have some more of these um, labels. I'm going to put one here, going to snip it off and then one here. That says the date. And I am going to uh, use the half a fishy. <laughs> I'm going to use the half a fishy. Because why not? Because you know, it just looks cool. Okie dokie. And then I need to do something with the... I want to have the date on here. The date. Yes. These are awesome. These labels. Especially if you have some stamps that you want to use. You can use them on here. I did distress them a little bit, lovies. With scorched timber, not red burlap. Apparently. Okay. Um, oh, not that high. I really want to put a number or, or, or something on here. But it's a little bit lower. There you go. Just snipping it off with, uh, well, scissors, with scissors. And I'm doing a little bit more inking. Where's the fish? Oh no, the fish. <laughs> the fish was already cut, love. <laughs> Okie dokie. Some more inking, some more inking. Let's take out um, some numbers. I'm gonna put some numbers on. Gonna start with figure, well, this says figure one, two, three. So two and three, figure two and three. There we go. You could also take out a stamp, but I really want to use some of these. That worked, and three. Name. <laughs> now I have a lowercase and, and an uppercase. So I'm going to do Mr. Something. <laughs> M-R. Mm 
dot. I even have dots, Bobbies. I even have dots. Well, yes, there's a dot here. Mr. Mr. Fish. <laughs> I'm going to be silly. I'm going to do Mr. Fish. Uh, where's the F? Do I still have? Yes, I do have Fs. Yes, I do have Fs. Definitely. Um, let's do fish in French. Mr. Poison. Poison. <laughs> Probably won't fit, but that's okay. It will it will look like poison, but it's actually um, it's the same it's the same uh, word, but one it says poison and the other is um, fish. I'm not French, honey. I did not come up with this, but depends on how you look at it. It will fit. Oh my gosh, it will fit. But like, it probably won't fit. But it does. And an N. Cool. Now we need a date here. <clears throat> We're going to do uh, three. I'm going to do two numbers. Slash... Uh, 17. It was 1917. It was the year 1917. Yes. Believe me, I was not born then. Oh, I absolutely love it. Look at this. Cool. Very cool. Done? Yes. Um, I could put something here if I want to, but I'm not going to. It's just finished. I have time for at least one more. If I hurry, maybe, maybe two. So I have this bag that came with butter. F I Y. It's supposed to say butterfly. It doesn't say butterfly at all. Okay, so it's an env uh, so sort of a pouch thingy, yeah. But I want to do something on the inside. So here's what I've done. I just open it up very carefully. Open it up, yes, so I can do something here. I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to do the decoupage because I have some glue left. Is this already very hard? I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to rinse it. I have this one that has bugs on them with Latin names. I'm going to have this underneath somewhere like so. Yes. Very cool. And then I need to cover this up. And then I have, uh, this says specimen identification. Cool, yes. And um, I might use one of the stickers on the acetate or do a little bit of stamping. I don't know yet. But first, what I'm going to do, guys, and now you've seen me do this uh, two times already. I'm going to decoupage this in. Yes? Okay. So when I finish this, I'll be back. I think it already looks pretty cool, but I want to do some more decorating. Well, I was going to have uh, these here and I'm going to have them here. Yes. And I do love the paper, but now I'm like field notes. So yeah, I've taken out field notes. I'm going to do some stamping all around. Yeah. But not on the acetate, of course. Taking out a random block. Um, I'm taking out black as well because the this is also in black. Now, lovies, I know you're going to ask me about those. I cannot link it, but I'm going to show you because I printed it out again. Uh, Tracy Fox Creatives fill in random labels and she is Love Junk Journals. Love Junk Journals on Etsy, lovies. Yes, fill in random labels. I love them. They're absolutely fantastic. Okay, uh, I do not need this. I do not need this. I need these. Something underneath. There we go. I have a piece of whatever to put here. So I'm not going to stamp on the acetate. Um, doing some run random stuff. Like what? Like this. This also says specimen. Yeah. Yes. In black, please. Not on the acetate. And there we go. 
specimen. I'm gonna do the same here on the bottom. Well, sort of here. Yes, because I want this one here. I love using uh, the round stamps in corners for some reason. That's my jam. Oops, there you go. Mr. Maguire. See? Yeah, very cool. Here. What else? Identification check or filed. Oh, or let's let's just do a number. Let's do a number. Yes, one. Oh, the figure, figure one, two, three. And there we go. Big number. Corresponding order. I have no clue what that would have to do with field notes, but no. It is there, so let's just put it on. That's upside down. There's a piece space left here. I'm gonna have just figure one on here. Yes, and then figure one and two there. Because this also needs to go on. I'm just gonna go here. It's gonna go here. So we need one more thingy here. Let's do another number. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to glue these on. And then let's fill them in with um, some of these rub-ons. Let's come up with something for identification. I'm going to put QTR, like quarter. QTR? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Sounds, in sounds just very interesting. Q. R. Do you want a dash or something? And then a four. Quarter four. There you go. And then the specimen is. One, eight, one, eight, eight. Yes, adventurous dash. Making up as we go. Zero. Uh, I have lots of fives. Zero, five. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Do I, do I want... I could put uh, one of this, these stickers on. It has nothing to do with... But they're cute, though. Uh, yes, I'm going to do this one. Ooh, that's two. I just need one. Well, that's actually six. <laughs> Oh yeah, that does look cool. Okay, please, please go back. Stickers. Oh my gosh, look what I've done. Well, here, here. Now there's there's inky fingers on them, so I basically cannot use them anymore. Well, that's quite all right. 
Cool? Yes. Uh, brats? Yes, I'm going to put brats in. Because... Just want some hardware. Pocky tool. Something soft. One here. One here. Taking out the tiniest ones. But the tiny ones need a little more room. Does it still say identification? Yes, it does still say identification. So I'm going to put in the brass. I will, however, put a piece of tape over it because this is going to be a pocket. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. I don't think I'm going to need uh, another um, focal point for this. Because I think the, the box on the, in the background, these will be enough oh yeah cool so i'm gonna do that here as well no that i'm not a, gonna add another focal point no and then i'm gonna put uh, i'm gonna glue that all together and put this on the back brads are taped uh this normally was on the inside it was glued like this but then you see the tiniest bit here so i'm just gonna glue it over it There you go. Move it over. And this one as well. There we go. A little more here, love. Yes, this is opening, so do not put glue there. And I'm just going to cover the whole bit here with uh, a piece of this because that's what I wanted to use. Yes. Inked all around it. Slap the label on it. Done. Yeah, pretty, right? Yes, lovely pocket. Um, you can also have it as a flip out. Yes, glue it on a, a journal page and then you have a, a flip out. Fantastic. I'm going to do one more. Yes, last one, quickly. Lovely tag. Yes, I do not want the writing, but I do want all the, the flowers. So I'm thinking I want to put a piece of paper like so. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to add glue. Sort of. Oh, hard. There you go. Here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and here, all around there. So I'm going to put glue on here. Then I'm going to put a piece of paper on. Let it dry and then try to sort of rip it off. And hopefully it will stick where the glue is. It should because, you know, it's glue and it's supposed to glue. Okay. Just gonna try. There you go. Gonna let it dry for a bit and then I'm gonna try to sort of tear it where the glue was. And then hopefully we will see the lovely flowers and not the text. Hoping this works. I don't know. I've tried this with very old paper and glue stick ones. Uh, but not with newer paper and uh, well, art glitter glue. There's already a piece of text that I do not want. <laughs> Trying to rip all around it. That is okay. I, I want this uh, effect. There we go. Where are we? Oh yeah, that works. See, that works. I need to put something here. Well, how about paper? Yes, how about paper? I'm going to glue this back on. Can we rip this? Nope. I'm going to rip it a little bit on the top. Is there text here? Yeah, but I'm gonna probably going to put something on here. Oh no, there's lots of text here. I'll put something on. Did not work as I wanted it to, but looks organic. Okay, focal point. I 
had a couple. Where? Here. Found some AliExpress stickers that I thought went very well with all the flowers that were on here. I'm thinking this one because this has loads of colors. This had loads of colors. Yes, I need to sort of cover something here. But I could add a piece of label. I do have a couple left. And this upside down. I do not like the upside down. I might do this. Yeah? With the blue? Or... Yeah, I think so. This, this. Maybe a lovely topper. I'm just gonna have notes on. Just gonna have notes on. Notes and something. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna glue this on here. Ink it first. Um, there you go, Art. Trim it later. Have it sort of straight, yes, and then save or picture. Well, save. Recycling. That's what we do. Okay. Yes, flower, I might add a little bit of, so of something. Yes, these are old AliExpress stickers. Horrible, I know. And there we go. I want the tiniest label there, but hopefully sort of something in blue. That is not blue. I'm afraid I don't have something small in blue. Oh, no, 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 you do. Oh, yes, you do. Look, you have this. Or a little bit bigger. Yes, it's going to be on the on the boo boo here. <laughs> we do have boo boo tape, you know. I I know. I'll put this here. Yes, I need to repunch this. Yes, I'm also going to put on a whole reinforcer. Hopefully, I have something in blue. Oh, yes, I have blue. Blue here. Blue, blue. Is that too blue? Wow, it's pretty blue. Want to do yellow? <laughs> or even green? Or pink? Yep. We're gonna do pink. This is now straight and we don't want it straight because on the other corners there are uh, rounded corners. So we need to round the corner. Hopefully that'll work because heavy paper. It does. Not straight at all. Still not straight, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, I want to do a little bit of a Robin's notes. I'm just gonna do uh, a number notes, 
a A4 or A something. A8. Yes, save. Two. Eight. And R. N. N. Now. I need a cute topper. Cute topper. Something cute. Probably have that somewhere. I've put on a cute topper. So it's very cute. Yes, it is very cute now. This is so sweet. So four completely different pieces of ephemera in different styles. All from packaging and napkins and um, odds and ends. Odds and ends. Uh, we made this one first. We made rose first. Oh, I do love the feel. I am so sorry that you cannot feel it, loves. Yes, it feels wonderful. It absolutely feels lovely. You open her up. Yes, and pretend that this is just a writing space so you, that you can have a, a journal spot. And uh, yeah, I'll put it put it in a pocket in a journal or write a lovely note to someone or, or do a whatever. Or you could also just glue it on as a, a pocket, belly band, side tuck, whatever you want. Then we did Mr. Fish, Mr. Croissant. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, you cannot, it's, it's really heavy You cannot put this inside of a journal Well, you could try, you could try Probably put this on the on the top of a, a nautical journal Or on the back I really like it Yeah, nautical, crunchy Can you see the Mr. Tim Holtz paper Just showing through, really cool And then completely different Yes, this, this says butter FIYs <laughs> Something like it Yeah uh, it's a pocket, lovies. Yes, you can put stuff in. Glue it in a journal on the on the top. Yes, have it as a flip out. Or just put lovely, you know, fuzzy cuts of books in here. And then the cute one. Just really cute. Yes, I forgot to put something on the back. Yeah, well, you know, put writing paper on the back and have it as a as a journal card. Yeah. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked it. I've I've done all sorts. All sorts. Maybe you had not seen a uh, napkin decoupage before. Uh, try it out, love. It's a little bit messy. You could even try it with glue stick. I, I did do it with glue stick um, in the beginning. But I like the sort of Mod Podge better. Because then it also has this lovely texture okay i'll be back again this um sunday this sunday lovies i have a, a what's up what's new with some new stuff um well 49 market i'm really excited about this and then monday i'll be back with another project it's going to be a junky one i do not know for sure what i'm doing yet but be sure not to throw out any junk mail envelopes this weekend no because I want to do something with envelopes this Monday. Yes? Fantastic. Lovies, enjoy your weekend. Hoping to see you Sunday or Monday. Until then, bye.